Um, what else do we got? Uh, we gotta doll this up a little bit more. Guests can't find donation boxes. It's right here! It's right here, you big dumb idiots! Why isn't anybody going into the Mystery Jungle Temple? It's right fucking here! Am I gonna have to put donation boxes, like, here? Guests love your zoo. I know. For good fucking reason. Alright, that's fine. I give up. We're gonna build some fucking donation boxes. Um, all. It is already all. Okay, that's fine. Go away. Donation boxes. What kind of donation boxes do we got? Um, is this it? Educator podium. Bank machine. What is that? Popcorn cart. Good lord. $3,000. Jesus. Dude, we're not making a lot of money. I didn't even notice. I've just been kind of going willy-nilly here. Where's the donation boxes? Oh, fuck me. What is this? Hamburger food stand. That's new. Gift cart. How long have we had the gift cart? Where's the donation? Oh, it's in benches, isn't it? Donations. Donations. Donation box. Here it is. We'll put a donation box um, facing towards the sidewalk, of course. Um, you know what? Now that it's like a group of three, I think we can center it. So that's like um, one, two, three, f and then one, two, three... And then one, two, three. Well, you know what? That's as centered as it's going to get. One, two, three, and then there's a curve. And then it's one, two, three. So I think that's probably fine. And we'll do the same thing on this side as well, um, for symmetry's sake. Uh, we will s start with the donation box. It'll be one, two, three. Boop. Mm, bench. And, of course, the PS de resistance, one safari lamppost. I wish we had nicer lampposts that didn't look- that looked a little bit less tribal. Like, I enjoy the tribal look, but... You know, save it for Mayahem Temple. This is a professional zoo. We want people to- to feel like they're- they're in an actual professional, um, uh, zoo-type environment. We don't want them to think that this is like some kind of nitty-gritty dirt band operation. Uh, Thompson's Gazelle, have you been pronking? Uh... God, you really need so family, don't you? Well, too fucking bad, because... We don't have access. Dromedary Camel, you live in the desert, don't you? Ugh. Shit. We've only got $3,000. Um, you know what, that's fine, let's doll it up. You know, you may not have friends or family, but... Small ball with rattle. Small ball with rattle! Oh, he's pronking! He's pronking all over a small, small ball with rattle. How about a carrot? You're a grazing animal, right? Don't you like carrots? He's pronking. I didn't think I'd see. So, I didn't think I'd see such incredible pronking. Oh, I can hear the pronking sound. Oh, it's because he's trying to escape. He's trying to get back to Africa. He doesn't like being the only gazelle. Oh no, he's happy. He's thrilled. He's having a good time. Why don't you go fill your privacy needs in your shelter? I think the light bulb means that he's like, his life has been enriched somehow. He's enlightened. He's like having fun with his small ball with rattle, even though I haven't seen him touch it once. Ow! Ooh, boy, that hurt. I just stubbed my toe. Let's see, um... Grassland, grassland, temperate, scrub. We don't have any savanna rocks, are you fucking serious? Boreal, desert, desert, no fucking grassland, or no savanna rocks. Oh, there's a savanna rock, small. Small savanna rocks, ugh, fine, whatever, there. Enjoy your small grassland rocks, let's get some, uh, grass? Desert grass? That's desert, isn't it? Yeah, that's not gonna work, we need savanna. Not cattails, um, come on, savanna, come on, savanna. Not that. Your zoo has become more famous. Oh shit, more animals? More animals? No. No, still out of gazelles. Fresh out of gazelles. Um, what was I doing? Plants? Here we go. Uh, June grass. Nope, not that one. Ah, uh, shit. Which one? Oh, protea flowers. Desert, no. No. Grassland, no. 
Savannah, scrub. Fuck. Oh, you need some hygiene. Oh, I need a gate. Shit. Fuck, so much to remember. One gate, coming right up. Sorry, gazelle. Oh god, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Here we go. One path. He That doesn't, that hasn't, his disgusting body odor has not kept him from pronking, though. He's still having a grand old flag. Still pronking away. Do you want this, do you want this fucking small bow with rattle or not? I'm selling it. For $300. You had your chance. You can have the carrot. Look, the carrot, the carrot. The carrot's all yours. Carrot's all yours. In fact, here, look, I'll hand deliver it to you. Room service. Here, tell him, tell him Big Zoo Boss sent you. There's one carrot for you, Thompson's Gazelle. And in fact, even here. There you go. Are you loving it? Are you loving it? He does not. Oh, nope. It, uh, he is not. He is not impressed. Not impressed at all by the carrot. Well, that's fine. Fuck you, too. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. The penguin. Oh, shit. I forgot we had a penguin. He's still splashing around in his little pond. Oh, my God. He's having so much fun. And look at this guy. Meet Matthews. Meet Matthews. That is such a weird fucking name. Meet Matthews. You... In fact, even, he kind of looks like him with a haircut. It's Meatloaf, everybody. Look. Meatloaf himself has come to not the Bakersfield Zoo. Wait a minute. Oh. I thought he had, like, a hygiene meter. I was like, how am I supposed to control the hygiene of the guests? What the fuck is that all about? Guest favorites? Jaguar. Hey, Meatloaf. You know, I'm so fucking sorry. I'm absolutely so fucking sorry that we don't have a fucking Jaguar to tantalize and tease you. You can look at that kid's shirt. Look, he's got a tiger. That's like a, that's like a big version of a Jaguar, right? Meatloaf? What are you doing, Meatloaf? Oh, shit, Meatloaf. Where does Meatloaf eat when he's at not the Bakersfield Zoo? Oh, Meatloaf. Oh, wait a minute. He is actually... It looks like he's going to do the opposite of eating. Looks like he is going to go into the adult diaper changing area to change his adult diaper. Because, as everybody knows... Meatloaf would never eat at the Tip Top Soda Pop Shop or Der Wiener Schnitzel or Hamburger Parade. Everybody knows Meatloaf is a Meatloaf man. He only eats Meatloaf 24-7, all day, every day. Meatloaf man in a big way. And that's why they call him that. So I am so sorry for thinking that you would want to grab a three meat treat, five chili dogs for five dollars from Der Wiener Schnitzel. Or perhaps a um, nice golden brown hamburger from Hamburger Parade. Oh yeah, this guy's doing all right. I'm surprised. Oh, yeah, because he's got his little disgusting burlap umbrella. How are the peacocks doing? They could use some hygiene. Peacock, bitch, where the hell are you? These peacocks should want for nothing. I'm telling you that right now, peacock, bitch. Where is peacock, bitch? Are you canoodling? Fucking Sally, slow and steady. How did I know I'd find you here? Where? There, there you go, you bitch. Oh, Vidu. What the fuck is that guy's name? Guests love your zoo. Yeah, hell yeah they do. Any more animals? Nope. Still nothing. God, am I gonna have to sell the gazelle? I'm making money though. I'll say that. We had like 3,700 the last time I looked. Oh look, there's food and everything for the gazelle. Oh, there he is. Am I gonna have to sell this fucking gazelle? I'm gonna have to get in here and wash this gazelle myself, aren't I? I'm gonna have to wash it. Here I am. I'm beaming down to earth. I'm beaming down to earth. I am walking frustratedly. Oh, Sandra, slow and steady. If you sit down, if you sit down on this bench one more time. Sandra. One of these days we're going to have to have a talk about, the, about your future here and not the Bakersfield Zoo. I am so mad at you right now. And look at you, you're just smiling. You're just smiling away. It's like I'm not even here. You and your weird Q-tip hands and your big feet. You disgust me, Sandra, slow and steady. You are so lucky that I have to go groom a Thompson's gazelle right now, or else I would give you a hot little earful. But I am far too busy, and I will not. I will not be embarrassed. I will not be embarrassed on the day that Meatloaf himself is at not the Bakersfield Zoo. How often? How often do we get a chance to meet the loaf? That's what I call meat loaf. The, the loaf, because we're friends. I'm gonna walk. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. I feel like I'm walking into an Old West bar. 
Howdy, partners. Anybody here seen a stinky, shit-covered, dingleberry-infested gazelle? Oh, he's enjoying his shelter. Groom. Oh, yeah. Enjoy the grooming, Thompson's gazelle. Enjoy the grooming. Um, in the future, it will not be me doing it. Not if I have anything to say about it. It will, in fact, be one of the mini zookeepers that we have on staff. All right, I'm beaming back up to the mothership. Three, two, one. There we go. I'm back in the mothership, guys. I'm good to go. I'm ready to run. Much like the Dixie Chicks once said in their hit, hit song from the 1999 um, blockbuster film, Runaway Bride, I'm ready to run. Ready to run. If you tell me that I look good in white, I will hop on the back of my Thompson's Gazelle and I will run away. I will change out of my three-piece tuxedo uh, because it is dripping with sweat. I will get naked in front of you. Um, I will be wearing nothing but uh, uh, but um, but my um, uh, my uh, my hilarious Victorian underwear, my hilarious Victorian long john underwear, and then. I will put on a wedding dress, and then I will put on sneakers. I'll be wearing a wedding dress and sneakers at the same time because I'm the runaway bride. And I will hop on the back of my Thompson's Gazelle, and I will ride off into the sunset listening to my favorite song of all time, Ready to Run by the Dixie Chicks. Spectacular. All right, well, um, let's call it at that. It's been a good session today. We uh, accomplished a, a lot. Um, we uh, we installed um, the penguin enclosure. In fact, we haven't even gone in to look at the penguin enclosure yet. Let's let's go into RP mode and take a look at everything that we did today. So here we are. Um, we are holding shift to sprint. Sandra, where are you going? Oh my god. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking forget about you. You're a writer. You're a writer. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you around because I like the way that you, um, empty the trash can, like, once every 3,000 years. Um, mainly, I'm gonna keep you around because I know... I know that you and Peacock Bitch are an item. And I know that you love you you love to come to this bench to stare at the diaper fountain and canoodle with each other. And if I were to fire you right now, that would be it. You and Peacock Bitch would never see each other again. And I will never, Sandra, I will never get in the way of love. Look at me. Look at me. Stare into my eyeshadow eyes and my ghastly white pancake makeup face. Never will I get in the way of love. So, but still, fuck you. Anyways, let's go look at everything that we did today. Oh, we beautified this. Was that today that we did this? Uh, we installed these fucking tight-ass trees, these tight-ass rocks, um, these bushes, these incredibly painful bushes that if you walk through them, it will tear your tuxedo to tatters. It will tatter your tuxedo. Um, we installed these big fucking heads, uh, these Spinoza bushes. Um, we didn't do anything over here today. I think we kind of forgot about that one. Uh, we, um, we put a bunch of peacocks up for adoption because it was becoming like a tenement slum in here. Um, let's groom them while we're at it. Refill their water. Come on, peacock, bitch! Um, we gave them this beautiful ball. Um, can I groom you? No. Let's refill their grass. Did she already refill it? Refill this? No, that's good. Um, oh, I can groom the baby! Oh, there's another baby. Man, it's a fucking baby boom! Look at this egg right here. Let's give you a groom, too. Um, oh no, that was shit that I was cleaning up. Refill the water. Okay, perfect. So, peacocks looking good to go. Um, now this is a new exhibit. We installed this- Oh, we installed this new, um, donation station bench lamppost combo as well. Um, we installed this new jungle penguin enclosure. Um, the penguin is doing great. He's got a big pile of fish over here. How are you doing today, penguin? Looks a little surly, a little upset that he's in a cage right now. Can I not groom you? I want to groom you so badly, Emperor Penguin. I can't groom you, no. Oh well. That's fine. Oh, he's walking over here to the fish. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I was trying to do a favor for you, and I was in the way of you and your fish. Time to replenish the fish. Oh shit, dude, you got it made. You keep eating those fish, I'll keep replenishing them. Oh yeah, that's right, you're happy. 
That's why I'm the big zoo boss. That is why I'm the big zoo boss. Um, we gave him this charming water feature. Oh shit, that's it. Three, two, one, jump in the water. Nope, this is as low as I go, <laughs> all right. That's fine, we installed the deep end and we've got this little kiddie pool here. And of course, who could forget this disgusting burlap umbrella, which I hate more than anything, but it's the only shelter that we have available in Birdburg. Perfect, so we did that. Um, oh, and of course we installed the prank path um, so that w uh, when I am sprinting around um, the perimeter gate, I can jump up and freak people out when they see my comb over and my eyes peek over the edge of the fence and then just as quickly disappear. Um, and of course, who could forget, oh my fucking god, who could forget, who could forget this other charming donation bench lamppost combo and also the Thompson's Gazelle enclosure with these crazy Wild West doors. With this beautiful savanna grass, um, this gigantic bale of hay, uh, which is more than enough for the one incredibly lonely gazelle that we have on staff. Can I groom you? Nope. He's just resting. Oh, come on out. He wants a grooming. Come on, I'll, I'll get rid of your bedhead. I will, um, I will lick you clean. I'll lick you clean like a mama cat. Privacy. Well, you were just in the shelter. There you go, buddy. All for you. All right, fantastic. So it's been a very productive one. Um, next time, I think we will um, build some more enclosures for some more animals. God, I hope we get some more penguins at some point. Perhaps some more gazelles because they are very lonely right now. I, I'm, I don't want to do a moose exhibit. Don't make me fucking do a moose exhibit. Moose are like the most boring animals on earth. I can see, like, I can just drive down the street and see a moose. That's the kind of animal that the actual Bakersfield Zoo would have. This is not the Bakersfield Zoo. We want exotic, wild, woolly wonders of the wide, wide world. And that's what we're gonna fucking get. Oh shit, dude, we are rolling in the money now. It's finally starting to come together for us. All right, perfect. So, uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, if you enjoy these, make sure that you um, like and subscribe. Uh, let your friends know um, about how great these videos are. And uh, I will... Uh, and if you have any tips and tricks for me, again, please um, leave them in the comments on this YouTube video. Um, I, I, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep doing this. this. This is so much fun. I love this game I love talking to you while I'm doing this game. It is so much fun And if you like watching them like I said like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye